Hi guys! Today is going to be the third kind of instalment in my reacting to schoolwork series. Sounds a bit naff. Um, <laughs> if you remember, I've done this a couple of times before and in those videos I'm reacting to like kind of more my young childhood schoolwork. There was a bit of secondary school in there I think, but a lot of it was very young. There's a plane going over. But I was in my cellar, as you do, and I came across my massive GCSE art folder. Can you believe we have to carry these around? I wonder if they still carry those around. They probably do. It's so heavy. So I took my GCSEs in 2010. So this is my work from probably the age of 14 to 16. And um, I am very, I would say, average, possibly slightly below average at art. I just took it for fun, you know, I just thought it would be cool. I'm in no way a talented artist. I used to sit next to like people in art and I'd be like, oh my god, look how good you are. So yeah, and this isn't even me, like, I'm not going to pull out like something and be like, look, this is so bad and it's amazing. Like, it is just like really average artwork, but... I haven't seen it in years, so let's delve on in. First thing that I found is a very strange piece of black paper with newspaper on top that I've then drawn the world's shittest flower on. <laughs> what the fuck is that? We then have another black paper backed piece of something. I think this might be a pepper. I'm not really sure though. It could be. Could be anything. But I'm thinking it was a pepper. Okay, and then this was definitely a shell because I remember shells being a big thing in my artwork. Like it was on the syllabus or something. And that's, I, I think we did that with ink using some like, not like a fountain pen, but I kind of remember doing that actually. This is my actual art book. So this is from year 10. I don't remember how old you are in year 10. Are you like 14, 15? Not 100% sure. But all I do know is that this is huge. So I've got to like put it on my lap to open it. We've got some more random flowers drawn on newspaper. Not really sure what that's all about. And then a <laughs> flower drawn on this fella's face. Don't know. Okay, we have another piece of fruit. I'm thinking this might be a tomato. And it's, I've made this with like sticking lots of paper together. It, it might be a tomato, it might be, I don't know. But my first thought was tomato, so I'm going with it. Um, GCSE Arts Evaluation. For the exam theme of work, rest and play, I have chosen the theme of people. I began my preparatory studies, someone was with this for the thesaurus, kind of talk. I began my preparatory studies by looking at the work of Julian Opie, William Roberts and David Hockney. Through my preparation work, I became most interested in looking at people playing and some working, mainly focused on celebrity icons playing instruments. I experimented with chalk, charcoal, pencil, wax crayons and oil pastels. For my final piece, I did a chalk and charcoal tonal landscape drawing of Pete Doherty playing guitar. I think that might be in there. The drawing focuses on Doherty, however, it is in the effect of looking through a camera viewfinder at the main subject. See, it all sounds like it's going to be really good, but it wasn't. I use chalk and charcoal because you can get different effects from it, such as smudging. This is all just a load of bollocks. Probably easier if I find that piece first, as I've just explained the whole thing. This was... Oh, I don't know if it's in here, actually, because we did actually have this hanging... or hanging, stuck on the wall of my... of one of the rooms in my house for a long time, so it might not even be in here. Might help. You never know. <laughs> not in there. I have a feeling it could still, where it could be. I'm just going to go have a little look. It might not be in there, but we'll have a look. I only went and found the bloody thing, didn't I? It's in a massive frame. I don't remember it being framed. I thought it was just stuck up on the wall with blue tack. Right, let's see if I can lift it. 
Oh, that is dusty. I'm about to get dust all over me. Right. Ooh. The sun is probably going to shine on it. So that is, I think this was like my final piece or something. I don't remember. Um, so I've actually had a proper look at it. I don't just turn it around and I can have a look at it from down here. So as you can see, I didn't go through with the uh, looking for a viewfinder thing. I must have really struggled with that because this is this was like done under co exam conditions. If it was my final piece, so yeah, drawing people not my forte. Not sure why I even bothered to do it. Um, but I really liked the um, Union Jack in the background and stuff. I remember really liking it at the time. Well, obviously thinking it would have been better if I was better at art, but. I thought it was pretty cool at the time, but I think I did just like the black and white drawings against the Union Jack, but, you know, we can't all be good at art. <laughs> would have been cool though if I would have followed through with that viewfinder thing. Because that sounded like a pretty cool concept. Where was I? Oh yeah. We're going to go to the art book. Self-image. Okay, so this is like a diagram thing. In the middle it says self-image. And we and then it stems off into like school, friends, family. So school, it stems off into I've written all the subjects down and then written GCSE, exams, coursework, homework, lessons, friends, lunch, break, learn. Family, I've got like just the family people that I'm closest to, places. Um <laughs> I've written Home, friends' houses, far away, and derelict buildings. Those are the places I like to spend my time. There's a few other ones on there as well, but they're a bit, like, personal. Um, and then I've got past holidays, um, hobbies and interests. Sorry, my clip's falling out my hair. Hobbies and interests. I've written drama, dance, going out, music, art, photography, fashion, internet. I am still interested in all of those things, to be fair. I just never was very good at them. Hopes, dreams and fears. Oh, this is when we get a bit emotional. Becoming an actress. Having a good life. Getting old, that's a fear. Dying young, that's a fear. Finding happiness. Objects. Camera, phone. Still relevant. Clothes, yes. Yeah, shoes, computer. Special mirror. Special mirror. Oh, I know what that is. I'm not going into it, it's a bit naff. And my rocking chair that my granddad made for me. And then I've got a bit about friends. And then the last bit down here, it says me. So I've written badly dyed hair. Yep, that's still relevant nearly 10 years later. Um, weird style, brace face, because I used to have braces. And then I've written out all of the like stereotypes that I used to be. So I've written emo, chav, skater cross those all out and then I've just put me with a tick next to it got some some form of something on my hand all this art is just going to come up on me so the first page in my art book is the contents very snazzy looking contents and natural forms this is all kind of boring stuff so um This is pretty cool. This is like a really, this is kind of my style. I really like to draw like black and white things and like just sh loads of random shit. So these are all shells though that I've drawn. I'll show you something else that I've got on the back of my door in a minute, um, which is kind of like my weird style. Oh, I can't remember what artist this is that I've drawn. But it's a really famous piece of art, but I can't remember who it is, but. I think I, pr I was pretty proud of that at the time when I did that. I didn't realise when f I first took art GCSE that you had to do a lot of writing. Like I didn't realise I would have to write all of this about why I picked to draw stuff and that. Like I literally didn't expect that at all. And that was my downfall, I think. I really didn't like that. There isn't really anything worth showing you here probably the best flower I've ever drawn in my life. Go me. I remember this was on the wall in my art 
room for a really long time so someone must have thought it was pretty good this is all made by like sticking little bits of paper together and it makes a flower this is a canvas of a photo of me i'll show you the photo first because i think i've still got it somewhere so here's the photo and here's my representation of the photo must have been feeling a little bit blue that day <laughs> just some prep for that final piece that i showed you so it's called ideas for final piece and i've drawn my camera at the time which was a nikon d40 that was my first ever uh, DSLR. Uh, it's sadly broken now. I will never throw it away. I won't part with it. I love it. So that was when I was prepping. That was like a viewfinder. That was when I was thinking that was going to be my idea. And we've got some more rough sketches of cameras and stuff like that. And then I've stuck some photos on the side. I think this, that's Pete Doherty. That's based off a photo that I took at a gig, which if I have, I will pop here. Not that you can really see it but um yeah that's a that more ideas started the process of my sculpture by picking a natural form and also deciding which artist i wanted to make it in the style of i started by drawing a detailed skull and it simplifies oh i chose a skull by Henri Moore no, it's Henri Matisse. Yeah, Henry Moore. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm sure it's Henri, but that's Matisse. Um, I made it out of clay and then painted it with a gold paint. Then we went out and took photos of it. We took a lot of photos, but they came out. But they came out well, I think. If I could change anything about it, I might have made it bigger, as it was quite small. However, I wouldn't change much, as I'm happy with it. I don't remember this. I don't remember like bringing this home or anything. This is a sculpture that I made. Can you believe it? I could have been a sculpture is sculpt just a sculptor in it <laughs> i don't think they let me bring that home because i've never seen that in my home at any point it looks like the screen mask oh my god why didn't i realize that at the time it looks like the fella from the it looks like the screen mask <laughs> a massive pepper what in god's name is this i wish i would have written on the back what they are Right, so, I think it's a guitar with plenty of other random, very random crap in there as well, but I'm lost as to what that is. When I was in my late, te no, when I was about 15, 16, or maybe 14, I discovered Tumblr, so this is sort of what's going on here. This was like the photography I was into and it was all shit I found on Tumblr. Um, that's from Gossip Girl. There, this little Taylor Moss in there. I think that's an unfinished piece that I think, uh, yeah, I was really into black and white photography. So this is a piece I've done on Jack Radcliffe. Okay, so this is a random piece of paper where, um, I, I guess I never finished it because it, there's a, a blank space in the middle where I'm guessing I would have had to write something. So, oh God, there's more. Um, these photos were all taken of me at school by someone else, so they're not very good. Because everyone knows you take the best pictures of yourself because you get control. So here's some very strange over-edited pictures of me on a massive piece of paper. And then obviously you've got to do a bit of Warhol, classic. That is my GCSE coursework stuff. It's been a journey. <laughs> definitely it's not as fun as reacting to your stupid five-year-old self-school work, but it's definitely fun to laugh at your lack of artistic abilities too. Get out of my face. Thank you. Let me know if you want any more videos like this. If I've got any schoolwork left. I feel like I may have milked this a bit now though. I think there isn't a lot left now. It would be awesome if you could give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you're new here. And that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.